Alright YouTubers, I came back from a hike and didn't feel like the AC was really doing much. The fan was blowing but it wasn't very cool. So I went up and looked and it didn't look like the compressor was running because there wasn't any water going. You know, it was dry up there. So uh, I came back down. Down under there which you can't see is my fuse panel. And it wasn't tripped but I reset it. And now it seems to be good, which reminded me it's been a while. So after this trip, I'm going to get the AC serviced. At least see if I... I might know somebody who knows a little bit about ACs, but probably not. I'll probably have to take somebody. But I'm not going to do too much fiddling with it out here. Check your stuff! It's probably been a couple years since I even took the cover off. Maybe I'll at least take the cover off. If it does it again, I'll make that rule to myself. Famous last words. It was warm, but not, oh my God, warm. So I have to remind myself to never leave without leaving that vent fan running. Right, Keek? Right, Vin? It wasn't, it wasn't terrible, but it was warm in here. All right. Check your stuff, peoples. All right, that's going to be weird. going to keep me wondering. Because I gotta remember, this is a 17 year old RV now. And I use, since I've had it four years, I, I use that AC a lot. It's definitely time to take a look at it, but grateful that it's kicking out cold air. I've been so fortunate, I don't even like to say it out loud, you know? I've had this a long time, and it's older, and it works, everything works great. Let's, uh, let's do that preventative maintenance uh, in a week or two, Dan. Remind yourself. But we're gonna vacuum that AC, I can't let it go. All right, and it's been since before I went to Key West that I cleaned these out, so I'm gonna take them off, vacuum them, and wash them. All right, me being me, I'm probably making more of a big deal out of it than I need to. But I gotta figure it out, so I got the cover off. All righty, doesn't look too terrible. It doesn't look bad at all. Relatively clean. Kicking out some water now. I don't want to get the vacuum up here, but to just let that hang. So I gotta set it there. Now, full and total disclosure, my knowledge is minimal on how air conditioning systems work. So when I looked at this, my main thing was, is everything connected? Does something look burnt up? Is there something obviously wrong? And I didn't see anything obviously wrong. So since everything appeared to be working, it was just a matter of cleaning it and then keeping an eye on it, see if it acts normal again. P.S. And it's always good to make friends with your camper neighbors. He let me borrow a ladder. Now it could be that the thermostat just kicked it off and it just seemed to me because I was hiking that it was hotter in there than it really was. Everything seems okay. Could be the thermostat too, but I'm gonna, since I got this off, I'm gonna clean it. This is exceedingly awkward. I did fail to mention too that I turned the circuit breaker off to this. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm very impressed with how clean it is up in here. Not bad at all. I guess the moral of the story is, don't be afraid to just look. And don't always allow yourself to go to the worst possible scenario. I'm gonna try to put the cover back on. I really don't like being on a roof. Oh, 
shit that's not in there. Alright, that's on. This one down here. The fiberglass seems cracked around it already. I didn't do it. Stress. 17 year old RV. I really don't like being up here any longer than I have to. I'm not scared, I just don't want the weight on it. You gotta remember, when you're working on something, if you have multiples, there's always the one. So we have them went on easy, this one's fought a little bit. Gotta crawl back under and turn the fuse on. Not a lot of space in Class B. I said fuse, I meant breaker. Hopefully everybody give me a break. <laughs> no way. Alright, let's see. It's kicking out cold air. Leave it on low. Go back outside. I don't hear anything wrong. All right. Now it could have. There's a few things it could be. First, it could be in my head. I could have come back in and expected to be cooler than it was, and thought something was wrong because the thermostat, you know, had shut it down to where it was just fan. It could be that. Um, the compressor could have kicked off and tripped, even though the breaker wasn't tripped. And the fan seems to be blowing well. I just want to watch to see if I'm getting more condensation. See, now I'm starting to get some condensation. There's probably a lot of wind noise. There's some condensation down there that I wasn't getting before. It seemed dry. And this had always been out a lot of water, so I'm going to keep an eye on it. Okay, YouTubers, it's the next day. You're going to have to believe me. You have no way of knowing. But it is the next day. And I just came back in from wandering and swimming, and it's really hot. And I had to turn the AC off because it's too cold, so all seems fine. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm glad it's fine. Check your stuff. All right, YouTubers, I'm going to put an end to this. It's uh, two days later, and the AC is working fine. So, again, the moral of the story is just check your things out. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to take a cover off and say, wow, that doesn't look good, you know, to find something that's wrong. And sometimes everything looks fine and, and you can press on without being too concerned. And still put it on my list of maybe get it checked out to make sure everything's fine. I'm glad that I ended up pulling the cover off and just did a visual inspection by somebody who could only tell if something was majorly wrong. Have a great and wonderful day and check your RV stuff.